whether the government could achieve a 5% reduction in emissions by 2020. It's virtually impossible that a 15 to 25% reduction could be reached. And it is unimaginable that Australia could help make deep cuts in emissions required by mid-century. If the federal government succeeds in scrapping the carbon price, there will only be one substantial emissions reduction policy left in, South, in Australia, being the renewable energy target, which is itself under new storm clouds with yet another review planned and pressure from the fossil fuel interests to wind it back. We actually need a carbon price and every other effort as well. Already in South Australia, uh, the government has abandoned its promise to cap the greenhouse gas emissions of new power stations. It has abandoned its commitment to purchase 50% green power renewable energy by 2014 and it will be reduced to zero at the end of 2014. It cut the $20 million renewable energy fund for South Australian projects and feasibility studies by half rather than extending its support. It has not placed pressure on new major developments to include minimum renewable energy percentages and real emissions reduction commitments. It did not even fix and maintain the solar system on the art gallery so it doesn't work. Our state government has some elements of vision, but it is disturbingly confused. The